unearth an ancient mystery with the help of a prominent veterinarian who says she can prove that Bigfoot exists and that he's related to all of us. ABC's Nick Watt tracked her down. He's elusive, almost human, a cornerstone of our mythology. And now someone is saying Harry and the Hendersons could actually be like a documentary. There's someone with a scientific background, a vet, who says Bigfoot is real and actually related to us humans. Well, I was a skeptic. I did not believe these things existed at all prior to this study. She's talking analysis of Sasquatch fur. After a five-year study, more than 100 DNA samples, Dr. Melba Ketchum believes the species developed 15,000 years ago, a hybrid cross between Homo sapiens and an unknown primate. Nobody has ever found another type of people that are living contemporary to us. I mean, they live right under our noses, and we never even were able to get proof of this until now. Listen. There have been innumerable sightings. Some Sasquatch hunters have even deigned to speak to Conan O'Brien. See, I know they exist. You know he exists, and... They. They exist. There's more than one Bigfoot. They're a species. They're like a primate. Really? Really? He even has his own Animal Planet series. These are not just animals. These are a type of people. They don't want to be seen. They don't want to be found. Okay, maybe it's too weird, but even the possibility... Oh, my goodness, I want to believe. Can you imagine if Bigfoot... Is actually real? For Good Morning America, Nick Watt, ABC News, New York. Well, you never know. You know, it's too bad Rob Lowe, remember he's here being a special yeah, guest host? Yeah. Too bad he's not here, because he's very excited about this Bigfoot news. He tweeted, I have literally never been more excited than reading the latest news that Bigfoot may in fact be real. Check out the 